Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. As promised, we're going back to Legends of Runeterra today. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm trying to cook. So I was looking at cards of like, hey, let's. I want to build a deck that might not win. But like, I want to see why cards don't see play. And here we go. This is the card that I want to build the deck around today. Um, Gift of the Half-Blood. So five mana, heal four. Give everyone plus one plus one in your deck, including equipment, and you draw a card. Um, to restore this legacy is my it's an interesting power. card, uh, and I thought, how do we make it playable? Because like, obviously it's on, but like, what if we do it with Yi? Because Yi can make it cheaper. And game one, and we've got it. We got exactly what we want. Uh, so I'm just gonna slam it. Just gonna click the card. And this deck is not a forge, uh, not a flow deck for you, but it's going to be a. Hello, uh, it's going to be a. Um, a buff in the sense of we're gonna make ye level through equipment. So, yeah, let's see how uh, how that goes. A good fight, the spice of life. Garlic works in a pitch. Time for have you met my shield? If this kills him, I'm gonna laugh so hard. It's unlikely, right? Because they, they have like a l lots of combat tricks, but... Hey, we get it out of him, right? We get it out of him. Um, yeah, now he's also harder to kill. <laughs> cool. A quiet spirit. Um, okay. You know what? Let's just slam this again. Okay, so this is now permanently a three-two. I'll try anyone once. Um, which is pretty decent. I do think we're gonna struggle into this because, like, we're kind of classed as a mid-range deck, and my opponent is a. Huh. Not gonna lie. If I put this on Yi, I don't think my opponent can do anything. My shield is my sword. Ha! This is fun, yes? So I assume he's gonna go round. use combat tricks. I should have just like accepted that to go through, because if Yi does that. Oh, okay, so we still get the uh So we do this. There's a one-off of each of the equipments, by the way. Let's say that we've uh drew two of them. It's kind of funny. My opponent's probably just looking at why is she an 8-9 now? Okay. Not ideal. Because uh Braum is a scary unit. We can forge the, the uh, we create and we mend. forge the ye, and uh, let's just hope he doesn't have any frostbites, eh? So the plan here is we can do this, draw a. Oh, I don't think we can draw anything actually. So. This won't level him, but it's close. Uh, and then we can put the Dark Infan on him, just to give him stats that are uh, worthwhile. And then if he attacks, we can... Uh... Oh, we got loads of stuff that's going on here. Uh, let me just look at the deck list quickly. I want to just check if I have... Oh, okay. I don't have any Frostbites here. I can draw a tag out, though. So what I can do is deep med, and the chance that I draw a tag out or an entomb is pretty high. So... We're just gonna... We're not gonna say... Yes to that. That is a big no from me. Yep. So I can't attack with this Yi because this will kill it. I can't block with it, you should I say. Um, 
So, wow, he doesn't uh quiet spirit. Doesn't do anything. Interesting. Um, let's just attack. Hmm, I don't like that that thing spawning afterwards, but you know, got to do what you got to do, eh? Ooh. Did he miscount? He did not miscount. I mean, he is leveling, so we just need to draw the these from now on. So, and then we're getting the uh, equipment back as well. So, each strike spells a new legacy. We just need to get the equipment onto a unit, and then give it back to a. Uh, after we're done. So let's um let's heal and then give it this. They are <laughs> they're gonna get brawn back. So uh yeah. Bit of a tricky one here. But yeah, the, the concept of the deck is just uh I'm Lord Yikes. That's pretty that's pretty bad actually. They deal on three. We can heal this up with this actually. Uh actually no 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 point. Let's just use Tavern Keeper. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Then we'll do this. Because they're going to be four wide, right? So we need to make sure we are also... Leave your bags at the door. Wide enough. Like, look, one mana three four. That, that's pretty good. It only cost us ten mana Let's to get it. Fight. Okay. We should be friends. Let's see what they're missing. So, they're going to get a lot of extra damage. I'm going to pull, pull. I think we're forced to block here. Oh no, we're dead. We're dead from a... Uh... We survive on one? Yeah, they definitely don't have anything to, you know, deal one damage or anything. No. Definitely don't have anything else to deal one damage, right? <sighs> Copium. Okay. Oh, actually, we're, uh, we're alive. So we do kill a brawn, though. Uh, right, we can buff the Darkened Fan or the Bone Club. Um, let's do... The Bone Club's funnier, though. Let's spread the stats out, eh? Stand with me by the light, as my ancestors did. Then we can do this, and then... Blacksmith. Then we can Blacksmith. Start healing from that. I have the name. I need, I need the reputation. The reputation. Mm, such rich blood. Um... Yeah, let's do this so we can actually block. Has I been put Blacksmith before? Then we got this coming up. Oh Best top deck would be a Yi by like a f by a mile. Wouldn't even be close. Huh. This could draw a Yi. No, draws a uh, pretty fat combat cook, actually. <laughs> so the only issue is next turn, they're, they're draining a lot. Uh, so we need to... um. Not great, but I guess the unit is... Uh, where all the stats are anyway. Full of pain. So this can... This isn't going to trade with anything. Let's take this outside. Trade. If you've got Frostbites, there's nothing wrong. This can halfway trade. This can go. I this can go. In his name. Heal a bit. Bear in mind, if this dies, this goes on here, and it is going to be a chunky unit. So like we got we we got like kind of a heal deck in Freljord with um better stat buffing, and everything's now plus four plus four, and th that's specifically because of a uh, gift of the no gift of the half blood is plus two plus two. Then this gave plus four plus four. So every unit in the deck, apart from that one y y y that we shuffled in, is a. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's not going to uh, do what you think. He's on two. He's going to drain. 
We have blocks. Nothing's over. Oh no, this is overwhelmed. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. So I assume the Brom's gonna pull this. One minus seven eight. Okay. Oh wait, this deals one damage to us. Okay. So this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Just. I'm hoping he doesn't have any more. No! Damn! I actually thought we were gonna get a win on the first game. Damn! Because we we had more heals. We we gotta heal two from this. And then when we forged, we could have been getting more. Damn. That's so close. And we had like this for lethal. Damn, we were so close. But GG's. That was closer than I thought it was gonna be. But uh yeah, let's uh let's see how game two does. But that's the concept. We're gonna see if we can get a win with it. I'm not a fan of Lurk. I don't think most people are. However, this man is playing Lurk, has the Lurk card back, has the Lurk board. How many mastery points? Level 5? 82? 84. And we have a Weaponsmith Apprentice to a. Uh, Me. That's why I <laughs> Early. So we're going to have to use some of these to uh, oh. early Rek'Sai and we lose the game. Good to know. Wow. We're going to get run down. So I guess we, get, we play both of these. We don't do anything next turn. And then I mean we can attack like this right because he trades. That's kind of crazy if he trades that. That was like four damage for free. So he'll get five damage. We're gonna heal three when we play the Mender. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. So, deep med. Uh, overwhelm is pretty good. Uh, we're thinking of, like, on. So, he gets... Forge twice. So, it's a 4-2. We can attack. And then equip afterwards. Ah, uh, did I say equip afterwards? I mean, we can still equip, but... This. Forge twice. I was thinking like. Hmm. His fire burns bright in our hearts. Ideally, we just need to drop an on that's leveled on turn eight. And Actually, we need to do this because we need to put it on here so we can strike for eight. This is a uh, ten nine now. So we kind of yeah, we kind of need to draw that on. Not gonna lie, did not expect the block. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is play this so that we heal one. Then I'll do this next turn. And then I'm developing blockers. We have a recall. We have draw. All right, if they somehow develop two mana... What are you on? You're not going to level. The Rek'Sai is going to get buffed. So we need five mana. So yeah, we can do this plus this. Um, get Scout, just so we can actually block. So he's going to buff this. 
Oh yeah, they'll put Rex on top, so yeah, you get three Rex Okay. You're yeah, guaranteed to get the... Uh... So we can trade the Rex side, trade all of the units, and then if he's greedy and rallies, we recall the Rex... Uh, we recall... Um... The pike. The story lives on. Oh, I guess if he has a snap draw, he also wins. Um, I think he's gonna have a rally, so we're gonna pass. Fuck! Swarm's always hungry. <laughs> I can't even recall it. Damn. Damn, if we... I mean, they got the early Rex side. It was game over from then, let's be honest. Okay. It's the rematch. Hopefully we can win this time. Don't want to keep the Orn. We have one, two. Discount this. So we're attacking on a odds this time, which is good because opponent won't be able to. Uh... I'm gonna take the two just because I want to get this down and then play the spear. Equip this. So this is now a uh, a one three. Hopefully it will discount this again. Yeah, I was gonna say if he's gonna block like this. I want to see if he's gonna be greedy though. No, let's not. I want him to pull with something else. He's just a discount bot. He's discounted too. He's done his job. Early Rek'Sai. I guess he wants to kill this. So he's gonna pull Oh I guess that works, right? Yeah. That does make a that does make sense. Not even I know what I'm cooking up. He gets double lurk proc. Kills the E. You know what? Huh? What is bro cooking? Oh, too much salt. Go down to eight. We have fuel. Did this not? Oh, we didn't attack right. Never mind. It's like, wait, this is a but it wouldn't. A clear mind. Um, we got the forge. We can play this. We can play the forge, and we can. You know what? Screw it. I would play this, but we'll play this next turn. We're gonna do this because technically we see, we get a bit of a heal. And we're going to Orn's Forge. And... Good, good. They never have a buff card, surely, right? Sweet. Get the forge down. My guy is wild. So if he doesn't open attack, we get this down. It's 
so... Because this is a essentially get 5 health. By the forge we create and we mend. <laughs> Go on, pull the E. You're gonna get burned. Okay. Lives in the edge of my <laughs> We're cooking. We are cooking. He must have a pike. I think that's what he has. Blade and body. So pike is going to be 1 plus 5. So he's going to be 6. So if we do this, pike won't be able to kill us. Wait, does it after this? This is a combo I didn't even realize. It's because, yeah, this gets summoned and then round start. Wait a minute. Time and dedication for zero mana. Nobody told me. So, we do this for zero mana. Could we get lethal here? No, we can't, we can't do lethal and... I want to start forging other stuff. One cut of many. Oh, we might actually die to the pike, so yeah, we are forced to do this. Alpha strike. Because you can pike combat. Yeah. Then we do this. Uh, do we want to... Yeah, we want to forge there. Then do this. So yeah, we immediately clear out this one. We have Nopify, which is for specifically Bone Skewer. And that's the only thing we hit in this deck. We have heal. We have heal. We're essentially lurking on each turn. So as of now, my units are scaling at technically twice I as fast as he is. Betray an anxious heart. I think he has a pike. And he was going to look for a pike thing there. But um... Yeah, we'll be forced to block here. Or not. Alpha strike. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> the Rek'Sai? Is there anything that we can do? He's gonna pull here, right? Um... I guess we just... Time and Dedication. And then we just pause, right? Because we're not... Like, even if he plus 2 goes to... Plus 2 goes to 10. Then he looks... He goes to 11. Then 12. Block here. Plus we have heal. Yeah, there's no way he could kill us. Because he also trades. And we have... Yeah, we can pass. We're not in a rush. I assume, yeah, it's not counting the fact it's working. I was going to say, there's no way... Can... So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, then we will... I want to play this. Because we heal first. 
I think he's gonna snap Joe, that's what I'm trying to think. So if it just blocks. Oh no. He also needs to be careful of uh, just Pike just leveling when he comes down. Because it is a thing that could happen. I can't believe we're not finding anything. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah. This thing. Um He's basically tapped out. What will you have? Well, we actually had another thing. And let's take this outside. Three units he got. Oh, Rexai played this. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, so this gives four. Yeah, it not gives four. It goes to four. Then it'll go back up. Tag out is great. Um, Not gonna lie though, I'm very annoyed that this is two games now where we haven't found on. From. It doesn't level. This is Pike, right? Yeah. So it's block. If they have a rally, they just win. Because we need to recall the Rek'Sai after she's attacked. Tide's rising. Oh. Break sounds up. Talk about your dad. So yeah, we lose to Snapjaw. We lose to um Rally. We got another one. This is a joke. The fact of this was the perfect game to get on. And we couldn't even get an on is Rally? GG. This is ridiculous, man. Come on, I was so close. Okay. Bandle City Demarcia Vein Rumble. So this is the one that just has the barrier. So let's see. Keep these two. Hello. Okay. We're trying to cook. We're trying to cook. We're trying to get... I mean, at least we have Orn now, right? Orn was in the opening hand last game, and it was nice that we didn't have him in the opening hand, but it sucked that we just never drew him. Uh, but we were on, like, turn 12. We were close to drawing half the deck, and we didn't have one Orn. But it's a bit annoying. Um... Kindle, did you wander off again? Well, we kind of see how things go. Looking for a hero for my hero. Yeah, so this deck uses the cards that generate stuff. Ready, Hammer? To uh, it's nice. basically it be nicer. use as discard fodder uh, for the rumble. I don't know if we can answer the rumble. Rumble's gonna be. Five, six, quick attack, uh, spell shield, impact. Hammer, here, so let me see that. Um. So, no block. Demons walk among us, masquerading okay. as men. Uh. So yeah, this is the issue now. If they play rumble. They're um. 
in pretty good value. This is pretty good. Okay, let's play what will you have? this just to heal up and get a blocker. Plus two, plus two. Honestly, pretty good because it's like spells wise, these are like the main cards in our hand, right? So. And if opponent just open attacks, because we have the heal next turn, I'm just going to slam it. I'm not going to. To be fair, I'm mean, not even that bothered. We could block it. Yeah, actually, we'll block because if he buffs and kills it, then we just heal it back up anyway. Or if he kills it, we can just equip on here and it's stronger. Let me focus. <laughs> so yeah, even if there's something like got a strike and kill now, I'm not that bothered. Pytos, okay. Are they gonna... Not a clue what they're gonna do, actually. Right. His fire right in our hearts. So we heal, we grant an extra plus two, plus two. We can now trade the, the lowest health unit. So this is technically a one-two, really. So, uh, yeah, anything... If this dies, yeah. Can't really do anything, can you, buddy? And, like, even if <laughs> Rumble comes down... We can just tag out the blocker, and because he didn't have Overwhelm, he won't be able to push for lethal. He won't be able to do any damage. More air, more color than for blacksmith before. We can just attack. We have Revna next guy. turn. The world is going to be. Well, this man's gonna be pretty upset with the things. So we can play Revna. Uh, we're not going to have Orn leveled, but Orn will copy the 3-3. Three, three, uh, Dark and Spear, not Black Spear. Ooh, I wouldn't mind that going on my Yi. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. If you play Rumble. We follow the legends until we become them. Revna! So yeah, it just seems like he's got a pretty bad hand. Um, like, we have three mana, and this is two mana, so whatever you do, as long as I have a unit... Oh, this is why you're crying. Good. I, I understand now. Yeah, no, this is a... We'll call this not ideal. Pingy my Nexus. There's nothing plunder in that region, right? I think he's just getting damage off. Yo, you should tumble before he goes to a... Oop. So yeah, we're gonna play this card. Opponent will cry. I made this hammer. It was so good I named it Hammer. hammer. By my grandfather's anvil. The stories are true. So yeah, even if something now happens to Orn, we can just start equipping the E. Yeah. Luckily for you, yeah, the Orn isn't leveled, but uh, this is pretty game over. You didn't get Rumble, and even if you did, you still had to deal with uh, this. And uh, this is lethal, and yeah, you're gonna have to block that. So, unless you can stop this and block something else, you can uh, accept the defeat. Hey, rough hand, but we'd like the win. We'll take the win. Now and we get the all level. We should have been seeing this last game. Unacceptable. But hey, we'll take the win. That is a win. Opponent drew bad. I drew. Is too much celebrating for my Pretty good. Okay, Diego, Mordekaiser, and Elder Dragon. Ons Forge is funny, and we have one of them in the deck, so we'll keep. I think. Maybe one or two, but we'll see. So we can forge. The only thing is we don't have anything to uh, actually forge. Let's see if we can get something down. Yoink, Scoob. Okay, slow. This is good. We can develop. 
not a fan of that. Hey, look at me! I'm an Orn's Forge! <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can do this. Then whatever we pick, we can uh, start forging. Actually, it probably would have been better to do the one drop into the three drop into the forge, but you know, it is what it is. Buff it up, so we're going to focus on health. Health is wealth, as they say. And we'll do that next turn, I guess. Uh, actually no, let's just do this. We'll do fearsome. A good fight, the spice of life. Garlic I assume he's just got a bad hand, and he's just not got anything to uh, not got anything to do. But I'm gonna take advantage of that. So if I played this, okay. I want to get Orm leveled, so I'm gonna. What do I want Orm to do though? First, um, yeah. No, let's do this. So oh, if he vengeances now, in our hearts. I still can equip it onto this. Submission or death for all who leave. Okay. Hot for boiling. Ooh. Pretty good trade. Surrender to me. Uh we can't do anything with two mana next turn anyway, so we might as well just equip here. Anytime he strikes with anything. Okay. The darkness like hunger only grows. What do I want? Fearsome? Probably this. Name's Orn. No further pleasantries needed. No further pleasantries and we will make needed. Great things in your name. Yeah, issue right now is that just getting all of this for free. And we actually don't have anything to stop it. No, no need to thank me. It's no trouble. As my ancestors before me. Live well. What do you want? Three? Mm. Dangerously now close. This is what good looks like. Yeah, this is the issue. We don't really have any way to like interact. Like if I look, if I look at the deck list quickly. I guess we have recall, right? We just don't have a recall. Okay. Hmm. Guess if he summons another mist as well. Oh. Never mind. He does it now. Why would you not just do this and this? Guess it does the same thing, right? Guess it does. Uh, Alright, let's do this. We were born to rule. He's gonna kill the Orn. Oh, I'm just trying to think now, is there anything we could have done? But I don't think there is, right? Like, he just plays Diego on 6, and then we just lose. Because by the time he gets to turn 7, he just has infinite blockers. Mana for Orn plus Deny. 
I guess. So we burn an equipment. Kindle, did you wander off again? So I need to bank three mana this turn. Okay. One they kind of tapped out. Uh, so like double. Taking both of my things. Why is it to take the strongest? Also, oh, no matter what I equip, they're gonna take. So yeah, let's just do this. Here, let me see that. Then we do this. We get that equipment back. We're gonna use on. Okay, very, very interesting. So he makes a copy. We have deny. We also have entomb, which will be exact lethal with spirit of ram. If he doesn't, okay, we can win if we just say if they have it, they have it, and I mean. We can't survive another round, so we have to Somebody think like hold that. My bear. We have to say, if you have it, you have it. If you have the deny, oh, if you have the vengeance to kill the spirit of the ram, okay. You have it, you have it. We would lose next turn anyway. I think they have atrocity. That's what I think they have. Because they wouldn't be running that card. Please. I think that was atrocity. Unless they're just teasing the vengeance. Come on. Take your time. I'm immortal. You're not. What are you teasing? I think it's atrocity. Go on. He's teasing. What is it? Please. I pray. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> smash, smash, smash. Oh, thank God. Yeah, literally, just we were too big. Oh, that feels so good. Double Viego and we still win? Get in there. 